Hey guys, vlog from a car. I'm gonna answer two questions that are related. I got one question from somebody who is asking about whether or not there was a need for verbal communications with people when you are a freelance developer, whether it be Skype calls or whatnot. And his concern was that his English, spoken English, wasn't very good, although his written English was actually pretty good. And I had another person from, I believe it was Kosovo, who asked about how to get jobs outside of Kosovo so that he can make more money. He said that in the country, it's hard to make good money as a developer, but when he had job, a job outside of the country, he made good money. So he wanted to know, how do you get more jobs outside of your country of origin? And I guess his first language is not English either. The quick answer is you got to become a better speaker in English. You have to be able to read and write and, of course, speak in English. That is such an important thing. So if you have your foundations down in programming and development in terms of what type of work that you want to do, the first thing you got to do now, well, the next thing you got to do now, rather, is you got to learn English well. Now, what should you do? You should read, read more English, start speaking in English, maybe do some online English courses. That is the biggest problem that foreign programmers for, foreign to English speaking countries. If your spoken language or your language is, uh, your secondary language is English or you don't know English, especially if you want to get work abroad, meaning outside of your country, in English speaking countries, you have to learn that language. It's so important. It's much more important than learning some framework. It's much more important than learning a new language. Learn English. And that's huge. So one way to learn English is to uh, watch English-based courses and speak along with the speaker as they're teaching you how to code or watch TV, etc., etc., etc. It's important that you improve your language skills. So important. So this brings me back to a broader subject. I've noticed over the last year and a half that I've been back active on YouTube, that most of the people are here to learn how to code to get a job. They're learning how to code to become a freelancer. They're learning how to code to um, start a business. And that kind of makes sense. And I'm right there with you because that's the reason I learned how to code. I learned how to code so that I could use the power of coding to express my ideas. And I was, as you may or may not know, my first business had nothing to do with technology. So it was a tool set for me. And it's a great tool set today just as it was back then. And I think actually every business student, everybody in business should learn to code. And in fact, I was talking to a professor just last week, it was earlier this week, excuse me, and he teaches business uh, uh, entrepreneurship, etc., in a college down in New York, I believe it is. And he was saying the same thing. He said, hey, everybody should learn at least the basics of coding, HTML, CSS, a little programming, maybe JavaScript, maybe a little PHP, maybe server-side, just a little bit, because it, it opens up your mind to how software is put together, how these systems are put together. And especially if you're entrepreneurial, this is like a golden age, if you will, to be an entrepreneur in the sense that you have unlimited access to information, unlimited access to markets. It's so easy to get information now compared to what it was pre-web. It's unbelievable, or pre-Google, really. And with social media, with sites like YouTube, with Facebook, etc., it's so easy to get access to a large number of people. This is unprecedented in history. It hasn't happened before. So it's a great opportunity for entrepreneurs, but entrepreneurs to be able to fully leverage all these tools, all these great things, you really should know at least a little bit about coding. So that's why this channel is about coding, it's about business, and to a certain extent it's about uh, the psychology of all these things, because it all works together. So whether you want to be a professional developer working for somebody, you got to know code, you got to know communication skills, and knowing a little bit of business would help you as well, because being able to understand what the clients, how the clients think, are going to make you a more effective developer 
You're going to be able to speak the client's language. You're going to understand their concerns, which will, will allow you to build your apps and your websites more effectively. So there you go. I hope that answers that question. I had done a couple other vlogs on it separately in terms of the English language issue, but I decided it would be better just to wrap it up in this package here. There you go. Cheers, boys and girls.